Like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. While we are familiar with crossbreeds of different subspecies, such as the ones we see in dogs and birds, it is also possible for a few different species to produce a crossbreed animal. And while most of the time the two species that are mating have to be from the same genus, it is actually not necessary for a few others. However, while the miracle of nature allows the different species to produce a hybrid animal, there are certain downsides to this process. Due to parents being from different species, many complications could arise within the chromosomes that could lead to production of infertile sex cells and therefore infertility. While it is extremely rare for animal hybrids to occur naturally in the wild, humans have been able to successfully breed hybrid offspring and many of the results were astonishing. Number 10. Wolf Dog As you can already guess from the name, the wolf dog hybrid is a result of mating between a dog and a wolf. The very similar nature and characteristics of the wolf and dog had recently led to the taxonomic categorization of both as subspecies of Canis lupus. The canid hybrid is considered by many as a subspecies of the wolf, while others consider them a separate wolf-dog hybrid. The country with the highest population of wolf dogs in the world was the U.S. According to a USDA estimate in 1998, the approximate population of wolf dogs in the country was 300,000, although many other sources show the population as high as 500,000. Most exotic pet owners who own a wolf dog prefer breeding a gray wolf with wolf-like dogs, such as Siberian Huskies and German Shepherds, to get the most appealing appearance. However, unlike most dogs, wolf dogs are not really a good pet, as they can get quite aggressive at times. Number 9. Zo. The zoo is the product of yak and domestic cattle that is mostly found in the Ladakh region of India. However, the word zo mostly represents the male version of this hybrid. The female are called zomo or zom. They are also called yakal by some people, which is the combination of the words yak and cow, but this name is not as popular. Surprisingly, the hybrid version is much more productive in terms of both milk and meat production, compared to a yak or a cow. It is also much bigger in size and stronger than both of its parent species. Apparently, the zo is sterile, while the zomo has been seen to be fertile, which is quite unusual. This allows the zomos to be backcrossed which involves the hybrid being crossed with either one of its parent species, which would result in an offspring that is much closer to one of the parents genetically but is not completely pure. Number 8. Kama Unlike the other two hybrids already discussed, the kama does not occur naturally in nature. The kama can only be produced artificially by insemination of a female llama to that of a male dromedary camel. The first ever kama was produced at the Camel Reproduction Center in Dubai on January 14, 1998. This creation was said to be a miracle. Due to 30 million years of genetic isolation between a camel and a llama, the main aim behind this experiment was to produce a hybrid animal that would be as strong and big as a camel, with the capability of higher wool production than a llama and a cooperative temperament. However, the result was a behavioral disappointment that displayed extremely poor temperament. The first kama became sexually mature by the age of four and showed a desire to breed with a female guanaco and a female llama. Much like camels, kamas are herbivores and also have the ability to live with little to no water for long periods. Number 7. Mule The mule is the hybrid animal that is produced when a male donkey mates with a female horse. However, it is rare for them to mate in the wild, so most mules are artificially produced by humans. Donkeys and horses have different numbers of chromosomes as they are different species. While it is possible to obtain a hinny by crossbreeding a male horse and a female donkey, obtaining a mule is much easier. While all male mules are infertile, a very small number of female mules can be found to be fertile. A mule can vary in size from lightweight to medium weight to moderately heavy weight, depending on the breeding of the mule's dam. Mules have been described to be more intelligent, much faster, and less obstinate than donkeys, while being more patient, sure-footed, and robust. They also have a longer lifespan than horses. Number 6. Savannah The savannah is a hybrid between a medium-sized, large-eared wild African serval and a domestic cat. It is the largest cat breed in the world. Unlike most typical domestic cats, savannas are much more social and their loyalty has even been compared to those of dogs, which actually strengthens the cat side in the cat versus dog debate. Moreover, they are very intelligent animals who can be trained to walk in a leash and play fetch. The first ever savanna was produced on April 17, 1986, by a Bengal breeder named Judy Frank, who crossbred a male servo with a Siamese cat. One of his kittens was purchased by an enthusiast named Patrick Kelly in 1989, who worked towards getting the new breed recognized. The cross gained popularity amongst breeders at the end of the 20th century and got recognized as a new registered breed by the International Cat Association in 2001. 
Number 5. Beefalo The beefalo hybrid is the offspring of domestic cattle and an American bison, also known as buffalo. The main aim of creating this crossbreed was to combine the features of both animals while focusing on boosting beef production. The beefalo looks like cattle and is primarily one, according to genetics, with less than 37.5% buffalo genetics. Because any animal with a higher percentage of buffalo genetics than this is considered to be a buffalo hybrid. The beefalo is a fertile hybrid, and its creation has led to a major setback to wild American bison conservation. Apparently, most buffalo herds are found to be partly polluted with cattle genetics, which basically makes them a beefalo. As a result, pure buffalo have become very rare. There are only four unmixed American bison herds left. Interestingly, bison and cattle hybrids that have a bison-like appearance are called cattalo, as defined by U.S. law. Number 4. Roller Bear the Groller Bear, also known widely as Pizzly Bear or Prizzly Bear, as you can already guess, is the hybrid offspring of a Grizzly Bear and a Polar Bear. This uncommon Ursid hybrid has been seen to occur both naturally in the wild as well as in captivity. Occurrences of this hybrid in nature were confirmed in 2006 upon testing the DNA of a peculiar-looking bear in the Canadian Arctic. However, it is very rare for these bears to come into direct contact because of their very different lifestyle, where polar bears usually hunt and breed in sea ice, whilst grizzly bears live a terrestrial life. According to the observation of two growler bears of opposite genders in the Osnabrück Zoo in 2004, it was found that the hybrid behaved much more similarly to polar bears than to brown bears. However, their physical traits varied. For example, they had a smaller body than a polar bear, but a larger one than a grizzly bear. Furthermore, they had long necks and hair-covered soles underneath their feet like polar bears, and small shoulder humps like grizzlies. Number 3. Walpin the walpin is the product of the mating of a male false killer whale and a female bottlenose dolphin. They are called the Great Great Beast according to popular seafaring lore. While they do exist in the wild, they are an extremely rare sight. The first ever recorded walpin was born in 1981 in Tokyo SeaWorld, but died shortly after only 200 days. The crossbreed proved to be fertile when the first walpin in captivity named Kakaimalu gave birth at a very young age. While the first calf died after a few days, Kakaimalu gave birth to a second one that lived for nine years. In 2004, Kakaimalu gave birth to her third calf, a daughter named Kawili Kai, who still remains in captivity at the Sea Life Park in Hawaii. According to experts who observed all three of these calves, they were three quarters bottlenose dolphin and one quarter false killer whale. While the name suggests that it is a dolphin whale hybrid, taxonomically, both are a part of the oceanic dolphin family within the toothed whale suborder. Number 2. Liger The liger is the largest known extant feline in the world. It is the hybrid of a male lion and a female tiger or tigress. While its parents are of different species, they are from the same genus. It varies from the similar Tiglon hybrid in a few different ways. For example, the liger outgrows both of its parent species, while Tiglons only grow as large as a female tiger. They also have joint characteristics of both their parent species. For instance, they are very sociable animals just like lions, while also enjoying activities like swimming, which is a characteristic of tigers. According to ancient history at the time, when the Asianic lion was prolific, there were several legends of ligers existing in the wild, as the territories of lions and tigers overlapped. However, nowadays, this is almost non-existent, as the habitat of these species does not overlap in the wild anymore, which results that ligers only exist in captivity. Number 1. Zebroid The zebroid is the general term used to represent all zebra hybrids, some of which include Zorse, Zonkey, and Zebrul. The zebra can form offspring by crossing with any other equine, and this is very common. The name is formed by using the portmandu convention of the sire's name in addition to the dam's name. Female zebroids can give birth to offspring, but this is very rare. However, the male zebroids are almost completely infertile. To date, only one fertile male zebroid has been reported. While most zebroids physically resemble their non-zebra parent, almost all of them are at least partially striped like a zebra. Zebroids are preferred over zebras for riding purposes, as tacks shaped according to the body of horses and donkeys fit the zebroids better. However, zebras pass on their wild nature, such as strong temperament and aggressiveness, to their offspring, which makes them difficult to handle. That is all for today's video. Thank you all for watching. While you are here, go ahead and click on one of these two videos on your screen. See you there.